Hey guys, Dave from Former Glory Salvage here with an old Corbin mortise latch from the 1920s. Uh, we're going to take this one apart, see if we can maybe just make it work a little bit better, but this is helpful if you need to fix your locks, make them work better, maybe repair some stuff, so you'll get to see what the inside of this looks like. Very first thing, just take off the cover screw. Get yourself a good screwdriver, it makes all the difference, especially with the uh, flathead stuff fits in the slots nicer so spend the money and get one alright usually when I take these apart I take the cover off lay it off to the side and I will take some pictures with my phone or whatever you got around or pause a video like this too it helps so uh, little by little here we're just gonna take it apart and lay all the parts off to the side I kinda like to do it in the order which I take them out and lay them out so you can kind of see where everything is individually instead of just jumbling it out in a big pile which really doesn't help um, if you kind of put them all close to each other you know what parts are supposed to be where and all that kind of stuff um, the nice thing with these old locks too is a lot of the parts the little springs and stuff inside you can get online or at your local hardware store some of the smaller places like if you have an ace in town or I think service star or true value they'll sell some of these springs um, the flat ones are called spring steel and as you can see in the left there for the latch that's a little uh, a little coil spring and I know that the ace by me has some of those so uh, I'll leave a link down in the description as well where you can get stuff like that online so here I'm just going to put it back together, um, starting pretty much you know where I ended off, just kind of go in reverse and put it all back together. Uh, it's a good time to check, see if any of those springs are broken, see if any of the parts are snapped or cracked inside, and you know sometimes you may have to get an old lock online or at a salvage place or something like that for you know maybe a spare part inside that's broken. Um, and most manufacturers have their own specific parts. This is a Corbin. Uh, I'll be showing some other videos of other manufacturers. The designs are pretty much the same for about 90% of these things, but usually you can't interchange parts between manufacturers. Uh, so on these locks too, another nice point to know is you can flip the latch bolt back and forth in case you're going from a left hand to a right hand swing that way you don't have to get a whole new lock you can just spin it around and it'll work in the opposite direction so very handy not all locks are made that way but most of the old ones from this period had that feature uh, so here I'm just putting the the dead bolt or the bolt lock bolt back in um, and so the the other thing I like to do before it goes all the way back together make sure that everything lines up so that when you go to put the cover back on nothing's bound up or sticking out and uh, that way the cover goes on nice you don't have to worry about something not working inside uh, and then the very very last thing I'll do um, and sometimes I forget but it's very good to do is to oil everything up and here's an example something you want to use on a lock is not an oily type of lube but something that's dry and this stuff is made to go on wet and kind of dry like a powder which I really like uh, you can also use graphite um, there's a, a few different things that locksmiths will use that way it doesn't attract dust and dirt and all that kind of stuff and mess around with the mechanism inside uh, the idea being if it's a dry lubricant then nothing will be attracted to it and mess up the mechanism inside um, so once the covers back on the other thing to note is not to overdo the screw just tighten it up so it's snug don't really crank on it like crazy because sometimes it'll be so tight it'll actually bind up all the parts inside so just you know tight enough where it won't come off kind of firm um, give it a few turns with your screwdriver to mimic having the lock in there and or the knob rather uh, work all the lubricant around inside and that's it she's ready to go back in the door thanks for watching